Hello, my name is Blackson, and I'm a warlock on Zul'jin Alliance. I recently started a raiding guild that chose to use loot council as its form of distribution. After undergoing a failed search for a loot council add-on that fit our needs, I decided to make one. Loot Council Lite is my first full iteration, and it's designed to be customized to fit any loot council's needs. I want the mod to be able to mold into your council, and not the council molding into the mod. Having that said, this is a quick demo of how to use the add-on and all of its customization features. The first time you log in with Loot Council enabled, you'll be prompted to select the minimum rank to, to participate in the council. Be aware that it can take a few seconds to load the dropdown if you log in in Dalaran or some other laggy place. By selecting the rank with the dropdown, you allow all guild members who are at and above this rank to participate in the council. In this example, I chose Raider so I could get some more help demoing. Normally we run this with Council Alt as the minimum rank. In order to start a council session, you must either be a raid assistant or the guild leader. To initiate considerations for an item, you'll need to use the start command. Type slash LC start and then link the item into your chat window. This will initiate the lose council process. Notice that as soon as I type enter in the start command, the window appears. I can close this window anytime by clicking on the close button or I can type slash LC show. You'll also notice that it lists all members that are currently a part of the council. In this example, Blackson, Disguise, and Kega. Crisis, another officer, was whispered that his version is outdated and that he'll need to update, in or update it in order to participate in the council. After starting a loot council session, members can link their current items in a variety of channels. Which channels are or aren't valid can be controlled through the options window and will be demoed later. In this example, we use Officer Chat and Whispers. Whenever someone links their item, or in this case, items because it's a trinket, they are automatically added to the window. Kega just linked his Anvil of the Titans and Titanforge, Titanforge Rune of Cruelty. You notice I can mouse over any of them to see all the stats and compare them to the dislodged foreign object. I can also sort all of these columns immediately by clicking on the headers. In this raider, I sort by raider name. Upgrade item sorts the lowest item level at the top, or largest upgrade. Guild rank will put the highest guild rank at the top. Spec will put main spec or off spec at the top. Total votes will put the highest votes at the top. And your vote will sort by your vote. I'm going to add my items by typing in officer chat with or linking the two items in officer chat and then saying off spec. You'll notice that because I said off spec, the O appears. If I were to re-enter them and type main spec, I'll get a confirmation message saying that they received the update and switched the spec. Notice I cannot vote for myself and that I can only cast one vote at a time. Here none for none, and then when I change my vote for none none. These are two options that are exclusive to Loot Council Lite. The first is called Restrictive Voting Mode. It, allow, it prohibits councilmen from voting on themselves. The second is called One Vote Mode. It gives one vote per councilman. You'll notice that Kega has two, two votes, whereas Disguise and Blackson have zero. I can see how current uh, councilmen are voting by mousing over their name here, in which case Blackson or Disguise or I can select their row and see blacks in disguise have voted for. If I remove myself as a vote, you'll see that it updated. Votes against is something that I'll be demoing in a little bit. If you want these votes to be hidden, that can also be done through our config window. Here, I'm also going to remove myself from consideration because it's obviously a much bigger upgrade for the other two melee DTS. At any time when you're done with con the considerations for an item, you can hit the abort command. This ends the consideration. I'm going to start up a new one in just a minute to show you the uh, different features, but first I need to bring up the options window. Here with slash LC config, you can see all the options. We have private voting, which makes it so that councilmen can't see how other members have voted. Single vote mode restricts one vote per member. I'm going to disable this for now. Councilmen can, council members can vote for self. If this is enabled, you're allowed to cast votes for or against yourself. 
and displaying main spec or off spec information. We also have the channels that people can link through. Here we have that people can link through whispers. If this is enabled, whispering the initiator will add your items to the current list. If this is enabled officer chat, then that is also a feasible way. Raid chat and guild chat are also two options, but I'm going to leave those unchecked. Now I'm going to start for the Muradin spyglass by typing slash LC start and the item link again. You'll notice that the window has automatically been populated yet again. Kega has now linked uh, his items and notice I sent him a confirmation message. You are now being considered for Muradin spyglass. Your current item is Titanforge Rune of Cruelty and Anvil of the Titans. You'll see now that I can also cast multiple votes. I can cast votes both for by clicking the check or against by clicking the X. I can cast votes for everyone if I wanted to, or I could cast votes against everyone. If any time you want to cancel your vote, you just click the cancel button. Notice also that I can no longer see how other councilmen have voted. This is the private voting option that I showed earlier. If I select any row, the votes are hidden, and if I mouse over, no votes will pop up. This is also a good time to note that the initiator, the person who types slash LC start, will have his or her settings copied by other council members. If the initiator has private voting selected, it won't matter what other council members have selected. This also applies for single vote mode and restrictive voting mode. All other council members will automatically sync up with the initiator settings and they cannot change their settings while a council session is in progress. One last thing that Loot Council Lite can help guild officers do is check to make sure that they linked the correct slot. Notice here I'm starting up a Loot Council session for Helm, but Kega is linking his both his trinkets again. He receives an error message back saying that he uh, is currently not being considered because he linked the wrong slot. When he links his Helm, he's automatically added. This last little part is an example of the add-on in action. This is at the end of my guild's first Blood Prince council kill in 25-man Ice Crown Citadel, and the Crypt Maker is the item. We're talking about in Ventrilla Bindings while voting, as it's usually not an easy decision with weapons or with first boss kills. Hopefully, however, this will give you an, a general idea. Loot Council Lite is available on both WoW Interface and Curse.com. Once again, my name's Blackson, and I'm a warlock on Zildjian Alliance. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, bug reports, feedback, or feature requests, please either contact me in-game or leave a comment on Curse or this YouTube thread. I check my comments every day, and I'm always on the lookout for more features to include in the add-on. Thanks again for watching this tutorial on Loot Council Lite. Hopefully you can get a lot of good use out of it. Good luck!